It's possible that we're in a simulation. When you think about how big the universe is, it could be because we're in a simulation. And when you think about how the universe is expanding, it's always getting bigger and it seems infinite. Thinking that we're in a simulation almost seems like a perfect answer. Because when you're simulating a world, you can make the world bigger. You could program it to add more features, to increase the size of the simulated world, almost as if it's infinite to those who live in the simulation and when you think about it what we experience mentally almost feels as real as what we go through in the physical world most of the pain and suffering that we go through is in our mind everything is exaggerated usually in reality it's not as bad but it's 10 times worse in our own mind we overthink we exaggerate the problems that we go through and we replay the same scenarios in our mind almost like we're a prisoner of our own minds we may be free, but we limit ourselves without even realizing. Most of the time, when guys struggle to get a girlfriend, they haven't really gone out there to talk to girls. They haven't really gotten rejected face to face. But in their mind, they play a scenario where they do approach a girl and talk to them and get rejected in their own mind. And they just think that no girls want them. And that it's so hard to get a girlfriend when in reality, they haven't even tried. They face more rejections in their own mind than they did in real life. So although living in a simulation almost seems like the perfect answer, the problem with that theory is the fact that we're able to think that we're in a simulation. I don't believe that we can be aware of the fact that we're in a simulation if we were actually in one. Like when you're playing a video game, the characters in the game don't know they're in the game. The NPCs move around without knowing they're an NPC. So the fact that we're able to think that we might be in a simulation, that we have this type of awareness makes me believe that we're not in a simulation. What seems more possible to me is the fact that we're living in a real world that's been created but you might think how can a universe how can space something so vast be created how can it be built it's too big and this is not the only galaxy there's billions of other galaxies and just getting out of our solar system takes years that's how vast space is that's how vast the universe is and when I thought about it, the only explanation that I could come up with is that the universe was not this big at the beginning. When the universe was first created, it was very small, tiny, minuscule, but it grew over time. When you think about it, life itself sustains itself. So the universe grows, reproduces, and recycles, and it sustains itself, and it grows forever. There's no limit to how big it could grow. When you think about life on Earth, it sustains itself. Everything reproduces after it's been created. So in theory, something would have to just be created. From there, life reproduces itself. It creates new life without any interference from outside forces. It's almost like we're in an ecosystem where life sustains itself, it reproduces, and other resources like water recycles itself. It evaporates and then it rains. It's like a never ending cycle. The universe has resources all over. Earth is not the only place that has natural resources. Other planets have them too. It's just that Earth somehow has all the right ingredients for life to survive. But there's some planets out there that's made of diamond. There's other planets that also have gold and other resources. But in this ecosystem, we're all fighting for our survival. There's natural selection where the best genes live on. And I think that's the reason why sometimes I'm scared to make a mistake. Because it only takes one mistake and it's all over. Or it could affect you for the rest of your life. That mistake will stay with you and hold you back from achieving your true potential. And it's not just from something that you do. It could be hanging around the wrong people. They do something that's not very intelligent and it could drag you down. So that's why it's important to hang around good influences and the right people with the right mindset if you want to be successful and if you want to maintain success because the wrong people can drag you down even after you achieve success.
you still have to maintain it. And most of the time, when we're having a bad day, when we feel like life is always coming at us and it's always against us, we just need that one good person to brighten up our day. When you think about it, the whole world is darkness. Space is darkness. The only thing that's lighting it up are stars. That's our source of light. And every star is a great distance from each other. They're light years away. Meaning if you're traveling at the speed of light and a star is four light years away, it takes four years to get there if you're traveling at the speed of light. Now if you're traveling at the speed that we're currently able to travel at, it would take thousands of years just to reach the next star. So you can imagine how far apart stars are from each other. And it only takes one light bulb to light up a whole room. So you can see how powerful it is to have someone that genuinely cares about you to be around because it can really brighten up your day. So the universe is always expanding. Stars are moving further and further apart. So when you think about it, I think darkness and space was always just there. I don't think it's something that was created. And the universe expands by moving further apart. Stars are moving further apart. Galaxies are moving further apart. But not everything moves further apart. There's galaxies that move closer to each other and eventually collide and fuse in a way. But I think overall, things are moving apart and that's how the universe is expanding and what you got to realize is nothing lasts forever not even the sun eventually the sun will run out of fuel and that's why to ensure our survival the survival of humanity we have to figure out a way to travel interstellar and eventually find a new planet that we call home and i think the only way to do that is with the help of artificial intelligence i don't think we could do it ourselves we need artificial intelligence to figure it out for us we can't figure out how to travel faster than the speed of light and let's not talk about faster just to travel at the speed of light we can't do it because light has no mass to travel at the speed of light requires something that can travel but also has no mass and it's something that we can't figure out and it's something that we cannot do so that means we have to build something probably artificial intelligence to figure it out for us and to accelerate our technological growth our technological innovations you know I feel like technology grows at a slow pace until we create artificial intelligence then it will accelerate at a speed that you didn't think was possible we'll find new discoveries and new answers to our questions faster than you can imagine while some people think artificial intelligence is a bad thing I think it's necessary to give us a chance to grow and to ensure our survival billions of years later when we need to leave this planet because the sun will no longer be around and we will have to go to a new planet that can sustain us.